for the high availability illustration, I have two firewalls. Here on the left is firewall A, which I'm going to set up as active, and on the right is firewall B, which I'll set up as passive. Now on firewall A, off of Ethernet 1, I have 203.0.113.25 on the active firewall and .26 on the passive firewall. Off of Ethernet 1 slash 2 on both firewalls, I have 192, 168, 1.175, and 176 on the active and on the passive, respectively. On Ethernet 1 slash 3, on the active firewall, I have 10.1.1.1, and on the passive, I have 10.1.1.2. And then I have each firewall connected to my management network. It's also the same as my uh, Ethernet 2 connection. And each firewall has its own unique management address, 155 and 156. So I've got all of those addresses already configured on both firewalls, but I'm also going to configure four HA interfaces on each firewall so that this pair is fully redundant. So I'll set Ethernet 1.4 on each firewall to HA mode. Then I'll configure each one with an IP address on the same network, 1.1.1.1 on the active and 1.1.1.2. Then I can simply connect these two devices with a direct cable between them so that I have their own little network that they can use to talk to one another to send heartbeats and hello messages for HA communication. But if I lose this connection, somebody unplugs the cable or one of the ports on either firewall goes down, then the firewalls won't be able to communicate with each other through HA. So I'll also set up an HA1 backup connection between the two firewalls and I'll use Ethernet 5. Again, I'll set up a small network between them, 2.2.2.1 and .2, and then just run a cable directly between them. If I need to synchronize the session table between the active firewall and the passive firewall, which is always a good idea, then I'll need to create an HA2 connection between the devices. And in this case, I'll use Ethernet 1 slash 6. I don't actually need to assign an IP address to either of these interfaces since the transport mode for sharing the session table is an ether type. If I lose this connection between firewall A and firewall B for HA2, then I will need a backup connection. And in this case, I'll use Ethernet 1 slash 7 and set that to HA2 backup. So that's the architecture for this particular demo. I'll start by configuring my HA1 interface on the active firewall first. So we do this under Network, Interfaces, Ethernet, and I'll choose Ethernet 1 slash 4 and change the interface type to HA. Now I also like to put in a comment so folks will know why this is set this way. So I'll put in Click OK, and then I'll repeat that for each one of the additional interfaces that I'm going to use for HA. So I've set each of these interfaces to HA as well and committed the changes to the firewall. So you can see each one of these is set to HA and I put in the same comment. So I'll go to the passive firewall, also go to network, interfaces, Ethernet, and then simply repeat the process, setting each one of these interfaces to HA. And I'll repeat that for each one of these additional interfaces and then I'll commit the changes. So I have Ethernet 1, 4, 5, 6, and 7 on both the passive and the active firewall set to HA mode. And with these in place, I can now move on to actually configuring HA, and I'll do that in another video.